quite right. Um, I'm just stopping the camera, ev the the recording every five minutes, so that I save it in five minute um, things. Um, it's five minute increments. I'm using um, Camtasia Studio Six, which is great for recording screen if you ever doing anything like that but um yeah sometimes my my narration might sound a bit disjointed I'll go quiet and then I'll come back and maybe be on a completely different tangent um, and forget completely what I was talking about so uh, yeah I'm just doing his downward his downshot cycle first um, I need to And now, so here he's coming off the ground. Here he's airborne, and he's, his feet are coming forward to grab at the, the terrain. I've just put a little bit of movement in his hands. Now I'm going to make him lose a bit of momentum in the air because his his initial momentum carries him forward really fast. Um, uh, but then all that energy kind of dissipates a bit when he's in the air, just a little bit. He's um, very fast, but he's still got some some natural physical motion movement. He obeys the laws of physics a bit. Um, what's his arm going to do? Sometimes I'll, when I'm animating, I'll just flip back and forth, which is what you do as a when you're animating on paper. As a traditional animator, you're always flipping your drawings back and forth um, to see how the movement works, but. Uh, here I think I'll push his hand out. I don't like that one. Okay, so his his feet are now shooting forward. And remember, this is a down shot, so we won't see all of his detail, like um, some bits of his. Bits of his anatomy are hidden behind other bits. So, uh, and there's lots of foreshortening, so all the drawings may not look like great silhouettes. Uh, that one, for example, just looks weird, but in the context, it's going to look fine. Um, so, here's where, okay, here's his coming off the ground drawing. This is his airborne drawing. This is his um, coming down towards the ground and touching the ground drawing. And now we'll draw him on the ground. Um, he's lost a lot more momentum now, so uh, you see where his his main volume, this volume here, is it's got all the forward momentum here, and it's uh, hanging in the air a bit. Now it's falling back a bit, and now we're going to draw it back here, falling back a lot more. Um, uh, so here he's uh, crouched on the ground ready to spring off again. I'm going to put his hand forward. I like to do a couple of cycles if I do cycle the animation just because I like his hands to do different things and his, uh, you know, to wave around a bit better and his, his hair to flap around a bit more interestingly. Whereas if it was just a four drawing cycle um, or you know, even 16 frame cycle Having it on screen for any length of time will, will really show that it's a cycle. And it's fine sometimes, but you you know, with something like Bidey, he's not he's not going over perfectly flat, featureless terrain. He's running through he's going over hills and through trees and things like that. So uh, this has probably taken me a bit longer than it should because I'm talking about stuff and getting distracted while I'm talking. I can't really animate and talk at the same time. So now he's on the ground. Uh, actually, that leg should be back a bit further. Okay. Right. Now, turning it into a cycle, or going back to, I mean, even though I said this isn't going to be a cycle, um, I'm going to copy his first drawing, copy, paste it at the end. And then in between, you see I've left a frame here. I've gone uh, first drawing and last drawing are the exact same drawing. So where I was up to, which is, uh, don't, 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 I was up to there. I'm going to go in the next frame, I'm going to in between it back into his first drawing. 
So in betweening. Uh, in betweening something into its first drawing is how you create a cycle, or a looping, a looping uh, cycle of animation. I'll draw his hands forward a bit, I think. Again, you notice how how rough all this is. So what we've got at the end, he comes off. And if I was to cycle that, I'd remove that last drawing because it's the same as the first. Select them all. Copy. Paste. 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 And you get him. And you see what I mean about being very mechanical. It's a, It looks a lot like a cycle just because it's um, his hands are not doing much um, everything is exactly the same each cycle around so what I like to do is create the cycle and then do something different with his hands um, the second time around uh, let me show you an example um, if I can find it hang on how much time we got oops we've gone over um, one sec <laughs> 